What's Soup Hot Soup here today, and we're back with some Pokemon VGC Online doubles ranked battle, whatever you want to call it. So today we're going to be, because I'm going to be doing this today and tomorrow, because I got two teams I want to use. So here's going to be today's team. So we have a Mr. Rhyme with a Rocky Helmet. Uh, he's got Ally Switch on him. He's got Fake Out. Um, we got a Torkoal with Wise Glasses and Drought. He's going to be paired with my Shift Tree with Chlorophyll and a Focus Sash. Torkoal's got Protect and then some other good moves like Solar Beam and Heat Wave. And the Shifter's over there with Fake Out and Sucker Punch and Explosion. If he gets down to one health, I can like protect with my Torkoal and stuff like that. And then we have a G-Max Snorlax with a Muscle Band. He's there for big damage, mostly with Body Slam, which will be G-Max Replenish. Um, Rotom with Leftovers. You know, he is. He's bulky. He can dish out some good damage. He's got that... Levitate, which makes it hard to hit his electric weakness. And then over there we got Namungus with Citrus Berry. He's got the, po the Rage Powder, the Spore. We know what he's all about. So this is going to be a team. There's uh, the ID at the bottom if you want to rent it. But we're going to go ahead and start finding some matches. Okay, so yeah, I just kind of ranked up because I lost communication with some. With someone lost communication with me. Um, yeah, so that moves us to 7 and 8 for this month. I've done 15 battles. I started out 0 and 8, I believe, when I was trying out some weird teams so i think i'm i mean and then two of my wins the other person lost connection um so we're going against lara lara's got urshifu of who i would uh, that's dumb raichu talonflame and dd ferrothorn and milotic so i'm thinking um i say we go with I don't like Amoongus. Let's just go Shift Tree, Torkoal, see what happens. Um, we'll bring along Snorlax. And really, I, mm, I don't like Rotom that much for this one. Ah, actually I do. We'll go Rotom. Alright. So let's see, just see how this works. We don't have to win every battle, we're just trying to have fun. I practiced with this team a little bit. I think like four of my rank battle wins, maybe three of them, were with this team. I think I went 3-0 with it. So it's, I know it's not a bad team. I just have not fought an Urshifu, Talonflame. It's been a long time since I fought some of the other guys. So let's see what Lara has got up her sleeve for this battle. And let's get our first battle of the video underway. She looks nothing like her trainer card. Talonflame and Milotic, so I like my start a lot, actually. Because we got that, we got the Focus Sash. So I think we're gonna go Leaf Blade on Milotic, and hmm, I think we'll just. Just in case the Milotic survives. We'll just do a Heat Wave. Let's just throw that out there. See what goes on. We're just having fun here. As long as they don't double into my Shift Tree. But I would assume the Milotic's going to go for the Torkoal. And all Torkoal doesn't, needs to do is survive. Because if Shift Tree gets down to 1 HP, we can go with the Protect Explosion combo. Thanks to his Chlorophyll making him faster. Well, the Tail Flame might go with Tailwind, actually. Quick guard. Oh. Oh, he was assuming I was in. Good thing I didn't go for the fake out, actually. No. Okay, that's not fun. That's not fun. So, Shift Tree might be useless at this point. Got some damage off. That's not actually bad at all. Um, let's. We're not going to get a move off this turn, so I mean, doesn't really matter. But we're just going to go with uh, another Heat Wave. Because that, that wasn't too bad what we did to the Talon thing. We almost got the Milotic knocked out. And we made a good choice, apparently, because the Quick Guard ended up not having any effect. Okay, what's the G-Max going to be? Obviously, the Talon Flame. I hope you won G-Max. Not G-Max, D-Max. Your Milotic when it has like 6 HP left. Oh! 
The choices were made here. Probably just to take out this Torkoal real quick. Is that a good use of your G-Max, though? Shift Tree's asleep. Okay, and one HP left. That's not bad. The Talonflame severely is going to hurt itself. So if my low, if Torkoal can somehow survive this Max Geyser, we're in business. Nope, Torkoal doesn't survive. Makes sense. It was a crit too, so, and that gets rid of our speed advantage for Shift Tree. We got what? We got some rain up. Um, I think Rotom's the best, uh, clearly, for this situation we're in right now. Can't really, he's not really going to take much damage from either of these Pokemon. He doesn't have a lot of weaknesses in general. Shift Tree, we'll Sucker Punch the Milotic, see if we can get the uh, Wake Up. And then we'll Thunderbolt the Milotic too, just so we can get killed no matter what. Okay. Is this going to pull out, is she going to pull out the Raichu? Yep. Okay, makes sense. Shift Tree's still asleep. Talonflame's gonna Flare Blitz, probably into the Shift Tree. That's okay, so we're down two. We haven't, they haven't lost any, but we're not in a bad position. They lose their G-Max. And we've got Snorlax, so... I think I want to save Snorlax for a bit. So I'm not going to G-Max this turn. We're going to go with Protect. Just to last another turn. And hopefully... We can knock out Talonflame with this Hydro Pump. Might switch my Lodic in. Which... Eh... Let's see what they're going to choose to do. Yep. So they're going to switch in the Milotic. Oh no, Ferrothorn. So Alex is protecting here. Raichu's probably going to go into Rotom. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, so this isn't looking great for us. We gotta go... I mean, we can only use Thunderbolt, so... It doesn't look like we have a good shot in this one. The Hypnosis had missed. Eh, if they... If we had knocked out that Milotic, if we had been able to knock it out, we'd be okay. Or if we had gone Hydro Pump on the Talon Flame, because if I thought of the Raichu in the back, but I didn't think of that until they did the switch, I was like, oh crap, I know what they have. Okay, Snorlax is going to tank that. That was a crit. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, and we're paralyzed. Not going to matter for the speed, but. I can only do that, so. Let's hope we can knock out this Raichu right here. With our muscle band. Yeah, that was going to be a knockout. So we still got three turns of Dynamax left. Okay, Rotom voided that. So it's either going to be the Milotic or the Talonflame, which Rotom's going to be able to knock out with a Thunderbolt no matter what. Got no sorts of priority moves. We're going to go Max Darkness on Ferrothorn. And I think uh, we'll just... We have to go with the Thunderbolt. I can't even think about that. So... Rotom's going to go first, actually, here. And we're going to get the knockout on my Lodic. So it looks like Rotom's got more speed than them. Um, the Max Darkness should do a good bit of damage. Not as much as you would like to see, but hey... Nah, it doesn't matter that much. Leech Seed. The rain stopped. Doesn't really matter much. 
It's got leftover. So we got one more turn of Dynamax. So the Talonflame is going to be able to do an attack. No matter what. So we're just going to go... Yeah, so we're going to go Darkness on Ferrothorn. Then Thunderbolt and Talonflame. Let's just hope Talonflame doesn't do anything major with this Flare Blitz. Oh, that was a crit. So it almost killed itself. Thunderbolt's going to finish it off. So it's down to a 2v1. But that Ferrothorn isn't the nicest thing to be going up against here. So the special defense drop is... Ugh, so we got some leech seeds. So it's going to be hard to kill. Because of the leftovers and the double leech seed. Yeah, so Snorlax, hopefully we'll, hopefully we'll be able to get just some attacks off. But this Ferrothorn might be able to stall us out here. Because of the Leech Seeds and the Leftovers. So we'll go with Darkest Lariat and... I'd say we just go with Thunderbolt for guaranteed accuracy. Nah, we, got, we gotta go for the Hydro Pump here. And it protected. Okay, so it looks like we're probably going to end up getting stalled out here. We made a little push at the end. But I don't... We just made one bad move early on. That got us stuck in Thunderbolt Rotom for a while. No time to get sapped. I mean, Rotom's going to last a while. Snorlax has only got one more turn left. So let's just see what happens here. Don't know. So Rotom, if Rotom can hit... It had two special defense drops. So that's gonna help pretty big time. And Snorlax is gonna get one more le one more move off. So we're okay. Iron Barbs. Okay, well at least it doesn't get to restore health from Snorlax. I'm okay with it fainting. Body press. Okay, it was gonna kill it anyway. So luckily I do have my leftovers on as well. Does it not have Power Whip or something? If it has Power Whip, we're probably done for. But if not, we've, if this Hydro Pump hits, we've got a chance. It's gonna protect again. Uh, yeah, I don't think we can stall. I don't. I think he's gonna stall us out. I don't think we can get this one. But it's just the process of waiting. If it wasn't able to get that body press off on Rotom, I would have liked my situation a lot better. But really, that body press might have been my losing moment. Unless we get like a crit here or something, that'd be nice. Yeah, I don't even think one more turn could get us. Yeah, we're dead. Um, we, sh we should have one more turn. 
Just gotta pray for a crit. <laughs> no, it's gonna protect. Yeah. Yeah, it's over. He's just gonna protect here. Oh wait, no, he didn't protect. Oh yeah, because he just went for the body. He knew he was gonna survive. Okay, so we go 0-1 with that bulky stall out finish, so not bad, it was close. Just didn't think of that Raichu, or else I would have gone for the Thunderbolt against the Talon Flame. Well, no, I would have I should have I would have gone for Oh we got some iron, cool yay. Uh no, I don't need to check their team, but good job. Yeah, we'll continue battling. We'll just do one more. Dropped a little. Let's see if we can get one more win today with this team. Well, we'll get one win. Because that was really close. Let's just hope they don't have a team of, like, top-tier Pokemon only. No, it's an interesting rain. It's a nice little rain team. So we're going to counter that with Shift... Oop. Shift Tree Torkoal. Um... I want to bring Snorlax. And let's just, let's give Mr. Rhyme a shot. Moongus isn't going to get to play today. Um, but we'll go, we'll, we'll just have a little fun. Let's try Mr. Rhyme. We just want to counter that. Oh, if they send out Politoed fur, they, they're probably going to have Politoed in the back if they're smart because Politoed the drizzle will be countered by my drought ability at the beginning. So just be useless for them. But if they keep the Politoed, then they can bring in the drizzle. So we'll see if uh, Smilo decides to do that. If, there, if he even wants to go with the drizzle team. With the rain team. Kingdra and Politoed. Okay. And we'll go Shift Tree Torkoal. So the Drizzle goes up. But then my Drought's going to take it away. So I'm thinking we go with... Should we go Big Plays? To start, I think we'll fake out Kingdra. And then we're going to Solar Beam the Politoed. Let's try that. Withdrawing the Politoed. It's probably going to be a Grass type. No, a, a Scavalier. So I guess Heat Wave probably would have been the best way to go here. Yeah, he countered everything. I wanted to do that turn. I mean, we're still going to get some damage off on the Scavalier. Let's see what this does. Probably nothing. Yeah. So let's go with a Leaf Blade on the Kingdra. Followed by a Heat Wave to do some damage to the Scavalier. Scavalier is a Pokemon... I know I've battled it. Just a little confused about it. So we're going to go on and see what it does. Once they pick a move. Um, I'm okay if Shift Tree takes a big hit this turn. Because then we'll probably go with Explosion. Because I just really, I just really, really love doing that Explosion with one health. It's like my favorite thing to do. With Drew Scavel. Okay. Now they're going to bring out the Politoed. Okay. See, that makes sense. Shift Tree should... Oh no, Shift Tree's not the fastest. So we probably can't go with our... Oh, the confusion. Shift Tree might get knocked out right here if it hits itself. Come on, Poke Gods. Okay. We at least get something. It's really not a lot Torkoal can do right now. Um, we'll probably Sucker Punch the Kingdra. 
And we're just going to protect here with Torkoal. Let's see... I mean, if all works, I'm sure it'll just be... Ah, uh, well, Shifter, you might knock itself out, so... It's kind of a bummer that we got confused. But, you know, if they hurried up and did a turn, maybe something could happen here. I brought... Who did I bring? I brought Mr. Rhyme. I gave him all nicknames, but... Okay, there's a G-Max. Probably Politoed. Oh no, Kingdra. Okay. So. We're still probably going to see some damage coming Torkoal's way. Okay, come on. Just get the Sucker Punch off, Shift Tree. Okay. Just get some damage. Wormwind, that's probably on. Okay, that's gonna be on Shift Tree. That's fine, that's fine. That's whatever. An attack drop for Sh Torkoal, but it's a special attacker, so that's fine. I lost some HP there. So I think we're gonna pull up Mr. Rhyme here. I love him, even though it's a girl. It's kind of funny. So we're going to go a fake out into Politoed. And probably just an Earth Power into the Kingdra. I mean... Oh, the Helping Hand goes before the... The fake out is pointless. So there's going to go Torkoal. Not looking good for battle number two either, but that's gonna be okay. I still really do like this team that I have. So we're gonna bring out my Snorlax, we're gonna G-Max. We're gonna go freeze dry into the Kingdra and overgrowth into Politoed. Not expecting anything great to come out of this turn. But maybe. But I mean, Snorlax shouldn't get knocked out. And if the Politoed's gonna go for another Helping Hand, I'm thinking as long as it doesn't go for the Mr. Ryan, we might even get a double knockout here, if we're lucky. But the thing is, we gotta be really lucky. Max Geyser. Snorlax, it's gonna do some damage, not not half even. Okay, we get the Kingdra knocked out. So now we can start doing some work. Let's see what this Politoed does. Parish Song. Yeah, so we got three turns to try and win this. Which, I don't know if we can win this in... Especially with that Scavalier, I don't think we can win this in three turns. So, let's just fight hard to the end. And depending on the other Pokemon, maybe we'll get a little lucky. Because, I mean, Mr. Rhyme hasn't been touched. We've always got Ally Switch. It's a possibility. And then Gothitelle. Okay. So I think we're just going to go all out on the offensive. Um, we're just going to go Psychic on Escavalier, and we'll go Max Darkness on Gothitelle. Don't quite... Mr. Rhyme should be the fastest one out here. It's a rather slow set of Pokemon out. So we're still going to get some damage off on the Gothitelle. What's this going to do? Like nothing. So 
So we're gonna have to go max darkness again. The special defense drop is gonna help fight this Cavalier so long as it doesn't kill Mr. Rhyme in one hit. Which it does. The Rocky Helmet helps. Gives us a fighting chance. We're all going to heal a little bit. But it really, for me, it's about trying to get these knockouts before the parish count drops to zero. So we've got two more turns. Which means we have to somehow... I mean, we're going to knock out Gothitel here. I hope. Um... Then it's, I mean, yeah, we're really just seeing what happens. Hopefully we can get this knockout on the Gothitelle, but I, I just see no way we're going to knock out an Escavalier in one hit. Oh, we didn't even knock out the Gothitelle. Wow, I thought I really thought that Max Darkness would easily knock it out, and it's got a berry. So yeah, we're gonna go 0 and 2 in this video, which, well, it's not ideal. We still we still fought pretty. That first one it was just down to which bulky Pokemon was doing what, and this one they just out they just clearly outplayed me. I do enjoy this team I have. Um, tomorrow's video is going to be a different team that I've already got picked out. We're just going to go into the Escavalier just in case Goth Tell protects. Just because it doesn't even matter what we do here. Yeah. Yeah, we wouldn't have been able to win this battle. And that's going to be the end of it. So 0 oh 2. Decent battles. Just had to get a crit to rub it in. Team, um, with the without my son, I didn't. I don't really have the firepower to win with the shift tree and Torkoal. But uh, this was hot soup. If you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button. But this was hot soup. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, most importantly, thanks for watching.